Hello everybody and welcome to our class video about arc length and sector area. Our learning goal is that you will be able to use proportional reasoning to find the length of an arc and the area of a sector. Okay, so consider as a possible scenario for this kind of concept, pizza! I sincerely hope that none of you are hungry while watching this video. If you are, I'm sorry. Okay, so Consider that maybe you and your family go out to eat pizza. And you, being a true math nerd, get out your protractor, and you measure the angle of your slice of pizza. That's the central angle of the pizza. And you also grab a ruler, and you measure the radius of the pizza to be 10 inches. So our question is, what is the area of your slice of pizza? Okay. So, it would help you to know, as you probably have learned in a previous class, that the area of the entire circle is given by the formula area equals pi r squared, where r is the radius. Okay, so the area of the entire pizza is pi times 10 inches squared. Putting that in the calculator, that area is 314.15 inches squared. I've rounded that, of course. Okay, then, hmm, well that's the area of the whole circle. How do I figure out how much is just my piece of pizza? All right, so what fraction of a circle do we have? Well, the entire circle is 360 degrees. So if I do 30 divided by 360 and reduce that fraction, that would tell me that that slice of pizza is one twelfth of a circle. Okay, so because that slice is one twelfth of a circle, I can figure out the area of the slice now as one twelfth of the area of the entire pizza. So I'll do one twelfth times the entire area, which is 314.15. Okay, that comes out to be 26.18 inches squared. Okay, so that's the area of your slice of pizza. But, what about this? What is the length of the crust on your slice of pizza? Boy, you're really inquisitive, math nerd, aren't you? Okay, so, I'm talking about that. Okay, that's the length of the crust. We're no longer talking about the entire area of the slice, just the length along the outside. Okay, so, it might help you to know that the whole circle the length around the outside, which is called the circumference, is 2 pi times r. For the case of the entire circle here, that's 2 pi times 10, which is 62.83. Okay, so that's the length of the crust around the entire pizza. Now, the size of the slice hasn't changed. It's still 1 twelfth of a circle. So to find the arc length of that slice, then I'll do 1 12th times 62.83. That tells me that the length of the crust on just that slice is 5.24 inches. Okay, so let's kind of put this together. Before we do that though, let me make a special note. When you're doing these kinds of calculations, use the pi button on your calculator. You get that by pushing second and then the caret sign. Okay, you see the pi is a little bit above that button there. Okay, you're probably used to have heard of pi as 3.14, but that's not actually the entire number pi. The number pi is a infinite decimal that has a whole lot of decimal places. I mean, literally, it's infinite. It never stops, and it never repeats either. So, the actual number for pi is 3.14159265, blah, 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 blah. We want to keep all of those decimal places and use them in our calculation. Using the pi button on your calculator captures all of them at once. Okay, so having said that, let's summarize sector area and arc length. Okay. In the case of the pizza example, we knew the radius of the circle and the angle, which I will call theta, remember we used that symbol when we were talking about trig, we'll use the angle theta to represent the central angle of that piece of pizza. 
Okay, so when we're talking sector area, I'm finding the area of that piece. If I'm talking about arc length, I'm just finding the length of the arc, obviously. Okay, in both cases, we determined the fraction of the circle, which is theta divided by 360. In our case, theta was 30. We, find out, we found out that it was 1 12th of a circle. We could do that regardless of what the angle theta is. For In the case of sector area, we took that fraction, that fraction of a circle, and multiplied it times the area of the whole circle. So like in the past example, we had 1 12th of a circle. For arc length, we did the same thing, took that fraction of a circle, and multiplied times 2 pi r, which is the circumference. Okay, so we're either doing a fraction of the whole area or a fraction of the whole circumference. Okay, let's finish this off with one last example to help you see it. So we'll find the sector area and the arc length for the shaded area shown in that picture right there. Okay, so Let's find the sector area first. Okay, so that would be the area of that shaded region there. All right. The fraction of the circle that I have is 75 over 360. Okay, if you notice, the 75, which is marked as the arc, is also the same as the central angle because the measure of the angle is the same as the arc. Okay, so I have seven, 75 over 360 as my fraction of a circle. I'm going to multiply that times pi r squared. In this case, the radius is 12, so that's pi times 12 squared. I put all that in the calculator at once, and I determine that the area of that sector is 94.25 square inches. Okay, notice that I didn't actually have to determine or reduce that fraction. 75 over 360 is actually 5 24ths if you reduce it. So we have this sector is 5 24ths of a circle. But we specifically don't need to know that because we can just use 75 over 360 has the same value, so I can just plug that into the equation. I just reduced it in the first pizza example to help you understand the concept. Okay, so now for arc length, which is represented as just like the quote-unquote crust of the pizza, that would be the same fraction times the circumference, which is 2 pi r. In this case, 2 pi times 12. Putting that in the calculator, I would get 15.71 inches. Let me, before I go, let me point out a common mistake. Sometimes people just say like, oh, since the 75 is written on the arc, that must be the arc length. Well, the unfortunate thing is, a degree is not a measure of length. A degree is a measure of rotation. So, arc length is given in such units as inches, or centimeters, or meters, or feet, but is never given in degrees. Okay, so, hope that all makes sense, and I'll see you guys in class.